what's going on you guys it's Brianna and welcome back to another natural hair YouTube video today is Friday and my birthday is next Tuesday so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and break up the style process into two different days so I want to do today and then I want to do tomorrow so basically I'm only gonna be using a few products and this is actually not really a tutorial type video it's more of a kind of look what I'm doing. So I'm going to be using just some plain leave-in conditioner from African Pride. A Dawn edge control that I'm going to use to make um, my edges look sleek. I have this coconut oil grease that I'm going to be using um, on my parts and on my hair as well. But last but not least, I have this hair and scalp moisture sealant oil from my business Coily For You Hair Care. Four packs of hair. I don't exactly remember how many packs of hair I used last time, but I have... Um, three black colors and then I have like this um, burgundy type which is the one on top that you guys can see right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part my hair and then I'm going to um, I'm gonna be using the rubber band method so I'm gonna put it into like singles kind of like mini braids but like organized and it's gonna have rubber bands at the roots of my hair and that's where I'm going to go in with my crochet hook and then I'm gonna crochet the hair individually into the braids and then I'm gonna tuck the braids into like the actual hair so you can't see my braids if that makes any sense half the hairstyle is done honestly I don't even know what the purpose of this video is anymore it was supposed to be like half tutorial half vlogish I guess but I don't I don't really know but I wanted to show you guys what the outcome is. So I'm done doing my hair for today. The plan today was to part and um, detangle and braid, get my braids in. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to go in and install the passion twists themselves. So I just wanted to show you guys what um, it looks like as of right now. So tonight I'll just wrap my hair up for tomorrow and then I'll go in and I'm gonna try my hardest to show you guys some of the process. It shouldn't take as long as it took me today to finish up because it's literally just me crocheting everything in and like tucking in my braids into the actual like um, added hair that I'm gonna be using for the passion twist. So it honestly should not take me almost seven hours to do that but who knows anyway let me go ahead and show you guys and I feel like personally I did a really really good job of my parting um parting isn't one of I won't say it's not one of my strengths but I have a hard-ish time doing parts sometimes um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the parting. I feel like I did a really, 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 really decent job. So yeah, that's pretty much um, all there is to it. The only thing that I put in my hair um, before I braided it was some leave-in conditioner and some coconut oil um, grease. So literally just two products. Oh, and then edge control, of course, at the base to make my hair look a little bit more sleek and I'm gonna try and turn all the way around so you guys can see like the back back of my hair. Also my braids have always done this. Um, they do a weird thing where they don't like they're not straight they like to curl up by themselves. Um, not that one so much but yeah. If you know then you know. Okay I don't know if you guys are able to see this good or well enough. If you're not I'm probably just gonna edit it out of the video. But yeah this is what the back looks like. Um, I think that I did a pretty um, well done job considering, um, but yeah, I really just wanted to um, take my time with this hairstyle, mostly because it's going to be a hairstyle for my birthday, and I'm probably going to leave it in for maybe three weeks. I don't think I'm going to go for four weeks because I didn't rewash my hair because I literally just washed my hair like a week ago. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna aim for like three weeks. Maybe I'll go four weeks. Who knows? It kind of depends on how long um, this protective style and the passion twist actually last. Like if my hair starts like super itch or if my roots get like too puffy, then I'll just end up taking it out. But yeah, this is pretty much what I did for day one. So all I did was finger detangle. I moisturized, I locked in the moisture, and oh, and I put oil on my scalp as well. Every section or every part that I did, I went over it um, with oil just to make sure that my scalp is all oiled and it doesn't feel dry and itchy. You always want to make sure when you're doing a protective style that your hair is moisturized under it. People 
often can be very good about protective styling their hair but it's not really protected if you're not taking care of it properly so that means pre-moisturizing that means moisturizing while you have the protective style in your hair which is going to be possible for me to do because my scalp isn't going to be tied down or anything like that like I'll still be able to like oil my scalp and moisturize it and all that but yeah a lot of the time people always forget to take care of your hair during the period that it's actually in the protective style so like say you're wearing a wig or like crochets or something like that people tend to neglect their scalp which is really bad and which can really make your protective style not so protective if you know what i mean if you know then you know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys for now um so day two tomorrow again is just going to be me um, putting the hair and locking and tucking it in to where my parts are. Um, that should be interesting because I actually, the last time I did passion twists, all I did was I applied gel to my hair and then I just twisted the passion twist in like that. Um, this time I actually went in and I braided my hair, which is better not to use gel and actually protect my hair and moisturize it and braid it up. So I'm actually sealing and locking in the moisture. So... You know, I'm looking forward to seeing the growth. I'm looking forward to seeing how it comes out and all of that good stuff. But again, I just really am excited about how good my parts turned out. Like, I truly am so proud of myself at how bomb these parts turned out. Like, it's crazy. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for day two. So, good morning, you guys. It's day two, so it is Saturday morning. And I just woke up, so all I did last night was I put my um, scarf on. I didn't tie my hair up. I just kind of pushed the braids to the back because um, I don't want to put too much tension on my hair. And um, I think all it right, pretty so well, I know? am back, and I would say I'm about a fourth of the way done. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the back of my hair currently looks like. This primarily is what the back looks like. Um, it is a little uneven <laughs> right now. Um, I'm not really worried about doing the touch-ups. I have come to the part where I am right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the full process of it. The first thing that I do is I get my two pieces of hair. So these are both 12 inches. Um, yeah, so these are crochet pieces um this one is just regular black and then this one is kind of like a burgundy ish but the first thing that i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to fluff out the hair um just to give it a little bit more of that fluffiness i guess i don't really know what to call it and um yeah so just going ahead and i'm doing this to both pieces of hair so just fluffing it out so it's like that. I went ahead and I did the same thing with the burgundy pieces. You can kind of see the color pop a little bit more now that I went ahead and I fluffed it out. But after I do that to both pieces of hair that I have, I'm gonna go ahead and cross them. And it's very hard to like cross it and show you guys on camera. So I'm gonna cross it and then I'm gonna come back and show you. All right, you guys, and this is what it looks like. So I just went ahead and crossed them both. I crossed them over each other and they are both fluffed and I like to fluff them out a little bit more just so they have that momentum and because this is crochet hair they tend to like curl back up on their own but basically this is what it looks like and in order to install that hair into this hair I'm gonna go in with my crochet hook and make sure that it is closed and I'm going to put the crochet hook through the loop of my hair and now as you guys can see i want to make sure that the crochet hook is open at this point grab my hair and i'm going to loop this onto my crochet hook and i'm going to pull it through i'm going to make a loop and then i'm going to tighten it i'm not sure how good of an angle this is actually going to be um but i guess we'll both see i've been kind of struggling with the back of my hair a little bit so we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm just going to be quiet and show you guys that process. Mm. 
now that I have it, I'm going to grab my braid and I'm going to let go and I'm going to loop all of the hair through and now I'm going to tighten it just like that and now the hair is locked in separate my pieces like I had before I'm gonna grab my braid for one of the sections and then I am automatically just gonna start to twist and it's very hard for me to explain how I tuck the braid so it's not visible um, so I'm just literally just going to let you guys watch how I do it it's very hard but pretty much I just put the braid under the actual hair and then it kind of just goes like that but yeah that's how I do my passion twist Now that I am towards the bottom of my hair, I'm going to be using a little bit of gel, and this is just um, jam, so the shine and jam. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my finger, literally just a little bit, and then I'm going to twist the, way down, the rest of the way down. And what this does for me is basically it just secures it. Um, once I am done with all of my passion twists and I have shaped it up and make sure that um, all of my twists are the same length, then I'm going to dip it in water and that's primarily what's going to keep um, the hair sealed. But for now, that's how I'm doing it. Just so they don't unravel. Um, yeah, because I really don't want them to unravel, but yeah, that's how I do it, guys. And that's how it's done. And I actually love the way that this one came out, especially since I wasn't <laughs> looking at what I was doing. Um, perfect example, but yeah, that's literally all I do you guys. I'll be back when I make some more progress. Finally! Uh, I forgot how long it actually takes to install Passion Twist. But either way, it's finished. I kind of just wanted to get it done so I didn't take the time to get back on camera to show you guys again how I install it. I still have to steam the ends of my hair so they can seal correctly because as you guys can see, <laughs> all my pieces of hair are not even so you know I still got to go in and cut it and everything but aside from that this is pretty much the hairstyle this is the look this is my birthday hair um, I feel like it came out super cute it usually does um, but again like I mentioned earlier in the video this is my first time actually like braiding my hair and then installing the twist usually I just use gel to like sleek down my hair so so good after I um section off my hair with a rubber band and then I'll just like twist it in like that but I figured out that last time my this style wasn't lasting as long as I would like it to because eventually that gel that I put on my hair would wear off and it would make my hair look really frizzy and it just looked really bad in the front so because I put in braids this time hopefully the outcome will be a little bit different but yeah you guys this is the look um yeah i'm gonna show you guys the back this is pretty much it y'all and again as you guys can see it is pretty long um which i actually like i like my hair long I love long hairstyles, it's it's for me, it's my thing, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm not really uh, too worried about it. Um, but yeah, I definitely do need to touch up my ends and cut some parts off. Like this, this is way too long. Why is this all the way down to my belly button? Yeah, not happening. So I'm going to end up cutting that one. This video slash vlog slash tutorial, I don't even want to call it a vlog because it's not really a vlog. It was a lot for one video, but again, like I've mentioned in my past few two or three videos, I'm trying something a little bit different with my channel, so I'm just trying to be more versatile and more open-minded and more like on the spot and like state of mind when it comes to making videos. Um, so yeah, this was just one of those videos which was on the spot, literally just turned on my camera, and here we are. So yeah, that's how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below. And hopefully I will catch you in my next video. I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. <laughs> Bye y'all.